Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, Greg the guy. Also known as the big cat, my cool guy, put the balls up. If you rock with the big cat, Taylor Moten, the Carolina Panthers must. Must resign him this year. If not, oh, 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 you don't know what you got till it's gone. Johnny Mitchell never lied. Carolina Panthers, <laughs> what a resign to the mobile. We'll talk about before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes. No. Maybe. Do you love the Carolina Panthers? God damn, is it that? I'll get that cleared up. Oh, oh, oh. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Give me that. Uh, I still ain't gonna do two gloves. Get out of path to Taylor Moten. Must resign him. Why? I'll tell you. Let's get into it. And here we go. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Check out fanofannetwork.com and also on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube. Coming to you guys soon. 32 fan ambassadors represent their team from a fan's point of view. You gotta love it, man. Check out fanofannetwork.com. Keep out the TV show.com as well. That's my site. Get you some cool cast merchandise. Get you some paws up gear. Nice hats and all of that. Now, with that being said, the Carolina Panthers need to react with a sense of urgency when it comes to resigning Taylor Moten. One of the best tackles. I didn't say left tackle. I didn't say right tackle. I said tackle, period, in the game. Surprisingly, this offseason, there wasn't no kind of deal reach. But to be, be optimistic, both sides are seem to be playing it cool. Huh? Now, the reason why I wish they would have kind of reached a deal going into this season is because if my man played lights out, you know, you want to be compensated like lights out. <laughs> That's that's the risk. Look, that's the risk you take if, if if he balls out. Now the risk that he takes, you know what I mean. If he's not trying to get one done, if he goes out there have a mediocre year, we might can get him on a steal. You know what I mean? He has a mediocre year. Let's say something just just wasn't working right, and you still believe in him, you might better get him on a steal. So you know, I guess both sides are playing chicken right now. Both sides seem to be comfortably uh, put play. Uh, comfortably uh, put in their place right now. But all in all, I think we got to get this guy signed. If you look up your screen right here, ProFootballFocus.com last year, graded him out as an overall 76.2 grade percentage on the offensive line. 1,106 snaps played, 6 penalties, 5 sacks allowed, which was 27th. Okay? Last year, I mean 2018, 1,054 snaps. Six penalties, two sacks allowed, 76.6. Rookie year only paid 63 snaps and uh, graded out as a 70.6. Never graded out less than 70. How about that? In a, in a time where offensive of linemen are very essential to the game for one reason or another, the Carolina Panthers has not had a dominant offensive of line for a while now. They had pieces of offensive of linemen that are good, you know, Ryan Khalil, uh, my man who just left, Greg Van Broten. There's been pieces, but as a uh, as a unit, we haven't necessarily had the best. If you look up on your screen right here, Taylor Moen also graded out as the 20th best offensive line in 2018. All right, graded out in 13th on true pass sets and played 121.7 pass block snaps per quarterback knocked down in that span. All right, excuse me, that was 2019. In 2018, he graded out as a 78.4 according to ProFootballFocus.com, 17th overall. And he started that year as a backup in 2018. Look at that. 20th last year according to ProFootballFocus.com, 17th, um, 17th in 2018. Can you believe that? Taylor Moe, one thing I like about Taylor Moe, I, I looked at two films yesterday. I looked at the 2018 New York Giants game. Remember, remember when Greg No hit that 63 yard field goal? That game. And also, I looked at the Cleveland Browns game. Here we went up there and lost to Baker Mayfield. Both games stood out to me because Taylor Moe is not necessarily the most physical offensive tackle. 
He's not. He's really, I mean, he's a big guy, but he's not, you know, some offensive tackles you line up against, you know, you're making a life or death decision. <laughs> They're going to mow you down, but he's not one of those guys. But what he is, he's very agile. He's very athletic. He can hold his own. He's not a pushover, but he's not a mauler either, all right? In the pass blocking, he's very naggy, very persistent, very smart, intelligent, and patient as well. A lot of stunts. You can't pull a stunt on him. When you're trying to cross or delay, you know, with your defensive ends or, or your defensive tackle pulling to the outside and linebacker blitzing, he's very patient. He picks it up well. He does well one-on-one. You can put him on one-on-one -on -one situation, no matter if it's Miles Garrett, yada, yada, yada. He's going to give you enough time in that pass blocking set. He's very rangy, very lengthy. Now, my favorite reason why I like him is because when it comes to run blocking, you see his athleticism. Now, I will show you guys some tape, but again, YouTube wants to be a crab. Fuck your money up. <laughs> I'm not about fucking my money up. <laughs> but I will show you some tape from both of those games, but I'll just talk you through it, all right? Now, one thing that he does really well is getting to the next level and getting on linebackers. You give Christian the smallest crease, and something that he did last year very well. He's taking it for about 10, 15, maybe even taking it to the house. One thing I wish you, listen, Taylor, I love you, baby, but you got to work on something, all right? When you get to the next level, you get kind of grabby, okay? You move well. I mean, you and you do this. You do a chip block, like you help down, you block down, and then you go hit to the next level, all right? So you chip out, help down, go to the next level. But when you get to the next level, sometimes you play out of control and you hook people. You hook them like this and shit. You know what I mean? And you got away with it a couple times in the Cleveland game <laughs> and the New York Giants game. Go check out the tape. You down block, and then when you get to the next level, those fast-ass linebackers, you're hooking and shit. Surprised you didn't get caught for holding, but if you can get that shit under control, I think you'll be just fine, man. But he's very athletic, very quick for a big guy. Very nimble, man. You know what I mean? Carolina Panthers definitely need some solidification on that offensive line. I mean, again, with <laughs> Russell Cohn, you don't know if he's going to retire any minute. Now it looks like uh, 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 John, excuse me, Dennis Daly will be at left guard. Matt Parrott is the center. Looks like John Miller is going to be in the driver's seat for the starting right guard. The strongest part of our offensive line is going to be Taylor Moore, man. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Taylor Moore got to get resigned. And listen, this is no shot at Curtis Samuel. But you know he's priority. I think Curtis Samuel may have to wait to prove it almost. Is that kind of fair to say? Well, I guess it's not, man, because... It, Shout out, oh, excuse me, real quick, man. Uh, my, my, uh, my hearts and prayers go out to uh, Ron Revere. And, um, you know, he's dealing with cancer, man. So my, my hearts and prayers go out to that, man. So good coach, man. Make sure you guys, you know, put some prayers up for the man, all right? Now, with that being said, you know, I don't think they utilize Curtis Samuel the best under Ron Revere and Norm Turner. You know, reverses and screen, bubble screen, shit like that. So, is it fair to say that he's going to have to wait to earn his money? If Curtis Samuel has a down year against nickel nickel cornerbacks, because he's not going to be a number one, he's not going to be a number two, he's going to be a nickel, he's going to be a slot receiver going up against nickels. If he don't feast on him, then well, it could be his last. So, I think he's going to have to wait, but I think Taylor Moe is playing it smart. You know what I mean? He's, he wants to set the market, you know what I mean? If Taylor Morton goes out there and, 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 and makes Pro Bowl and just shows out, he's going to command whatever he wants. And he knows Carolina's in a situation where they can't let him walk. You let Greg Van Roten walk. I mean, Ryan Khalil went to retirement and came back out, <laughs> went to the Jets. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You let my man, um, the left guard that went to Jacksonville a couple years ago, man. You let my man go there. I mean, so Carolina's in a position where we got we to gotta rebuild this off of the line. Okay, not with certified pre-used parts, but with, with, with solid quality parts. And Taylor Moe is just that. Taylor Moe hasn't begun to scratch the surface of his talent. Yes, he's been grading out high 76s, 75s, 70s. But my man's an 80 kind of guy. He's an 80 plus kind of off of the tackle. Again, athletic, agile, very quick and nimble with his feet. Not a mauler, but he definitely can hold his own. I'm your host, Grande Gato. Also known as the Big Cat. Makuki up his paws up. Rock with the Big Cat. Tell me what you think about Taylor Moten. Should the Carolina Panthers sign him during the season, or should they just wait and let him play it out? Or do you think they will resign him, or will they go elsewhere? Get in the comment section. Let me know. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. I can Spotify. Hold nine. 
Check out FanFanNetwork.com. Also, FanFan Network on Twitch. Keep on the TV show.com. Go over there and shop. Get you, get you some good t shirts, hats. <laughs> if the church say two gloves. I'd like to take the time out to thank Keep Pounding TV membership sponsors below. It is because of supporters like you that we're able to create quality content. Please consider joining the Keep Pounding TV membership by clicking the join button right above the channel header. With three different tiers and packages, we have a little something for everybody and affordability. Make sure you join. Pause up. Be sure to check out KeepPoundingTVShow.com where we had the latest Panthers article Exclusive behind the scenes content, vlogs, videos, schedule, fantasy football, and much more. Also, be sure to check out Keep Pounding TV's official merchandise, where we have Paul's Up hats, Gato shirts, and much more as well. I want to give a very special shout out and thanks to all the Keep Pounding TV cool cats and members. Paul's Up, Keep Pounding. Fellas, do you have a beer like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Trishana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Trishana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Live Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the big cat. Pause up! You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.